hello and welcome to my youtube channel so in this video i am going to show how we can read a csv file using a go program so in the previous video we saw how we can use go program to write some data to our csv file and this was our project and if you open this csv file you can see we have our columns um, which is the header the first uh, row is the header and then we have each row and as I said, it's kind of as a stored as a string, array of strings, right? So what we are going to do in this case is uh, we will try to send our CSV file to our Go program and that Go program will basically um, go row by row and print out the data. So we know that um, it's a, we are able to print it and we can do anything with our data. Once we are able to read it, you can play around with it, you can, um, do whatever you want to do with it. So let's get started. Um, as usual, I'll create a new directory called um, read CSV. Um, I'll go inside my directory. I will initialize the mod file as I do always. Okay, um, this is done. I'll create a main dot go file. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy this CSV file because we need a CSV file that we can um, use and that we can parse and read, right? So I will do this. I'll go here to my main.go file. Okay. Um, now here I will give package main. These are the standard things. I know the import stuff will also be same from the previous video. So encoding slash CSV, FMT, IO, uh, log, because I might log it somewhere. Like if we get an error, I try to log it. And then OS, because OS is used to um, give the path uh, where, where the file is present uh, locally on our computer. So that's where this package is used. So I'll give function main, now I will create a file object first. So I will do OS open and let's open our file, which is users.csv, correct? Now, if we get an error, let's log that error, log that fatal error. Okay, going forward, we'll create a new reader. So I have already imported the CSV library which will have a new reader uh, object. Uh, it creates an object of a CSV reader. And now it's the matter of time we can start um, actually reading our uh, CSV file. So let's have a look at our CSV file again. So we see the first row is just a header. So it's not something important that we might use. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to um, initially skip through that. And the way I will skip through is I will do if error r dot read. So what this line is doing, uh, when I call r dot read, it basically reads the whole line, uh, whole first line, which is like whole row. So we know the first row is just header. So it will get stored into nothing and we won't we will do nothing with that so i am just checking if while parsing the first row also we get any error if so i'll log that error here again cool um now once i i'm done with the with reading the first um, column first row sorry so the reader basically knows uh, this reader object is intelligent enough to know that, okay, uh, the user has already read the first row, uh, move the pointer to the second um, row. So in the for loop, whenever I call r.read, it's going to start from the second row. And that this is some information that we would like to print here, right? So what I'll do here is record error r.read okay uh, once i do that why i'm giving it in here but not used oh yeah no worries if error equals to io dot end of file so 
we need to exit out of our program when we reach the end of the file so this is what we do and if we get an error as usual we will log that error now comes the interesting part so uh, this record basically will consist of this whole row now i want to make use of uh, individual values as well so the first value is a first name this is the last name and this is occupation so here what i can do again is um, i can go over each values and i can do something with or i can directly print something so let's do something exciting which is fmt printf so i will try to print um, that uh, user's name so user's name is first name last name and is a occupation so whatever occupation that person is doing so here we'll do record of zero comma record of one comma record two and this should do the trick i guess uh, we are ready with our program let's try to run it and see if it works okay awesome it worked and you guys can see that we are able to print that john uh, doe is a plumber lucy smith is a teacher and nick jonas is a singer and this is what it's printing so it's working as it should um, i'm going to keep this video small and this is all about it if you guys like this video please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up like my video and follow me on instagram thanks everyone